It's Dave from DadBod. Today we're going to be talking about native shoes. Are they really worth the price compared to, say, Old Navy or Cat and Jack? Let's find out. If you're like me, kid shoes drive you crazy. They're so expensive, and what, you maybe get a couple of weeks out of them? It's summertime. You want to find that perfect shoe that you can put your kids in, take them to the pool, take them to the beach, run through the sand, the dirt, the mud, whatever the case is, take them off, clean them, and be good to go. Native seems to be the brand that's top dog in this category. That, however, comes at a price. Native toddler shoes are all over the internet. They're about 40 bucks. There are other competitors there, though, at a much cheaper price. Some of them are like Old Navy, Cat and Jack from Target. We've tried them all. For our oldest, the first pair we got him was Cat and Jack from Target. They held up all summer and they were honestly great. My wife loves a good name brand, so we gave Natives a try. From the eye test, I really didn't see much of a difference at first. He spent about half a summer in each of them. And at the end of the summer, there was clearly more wear and tear on the Cat and Jacks. For our youngest, we thought we'd give the Old Navy ones a try. He just didn't like them. Every time we'd put him on, he'd be pointing at his feet. He didn't want to walk around. It, it became a problem. So of course, my wife wanted to buy another pair of natives. The funny thing was, we put him on his feet and he was running around, no issues. He spent the first half of the summer in those natives and loved them. But you know what? He outgrew them that quickly. So we had to get another pair of natives, $80 in one summer for these shoes filled with holes. In case you're wondering if this type of shoe is a must buy, the answer is yes. Your kids come in covered in sand, covered in dirt, take off the shoe, rinse them off in the sink, they're done. If you're wondering if natives are truly worth the price compared to say Cat and Jack or Old Navy, to me, I don't really think so. Our kids grow, they grow fast. Shoes are going to be replaced. Whatever you're going to buy is most likely for that summer and that summer only. For the price of natives, I can't really justify the added cost. Our kids are just gonna grow out of them by the time the next summer comes around. Or in my case, you're gonna go through two pairs in one summer. Whether you pick up Cat and Jacks or Old Navies, I don't really think you can go wrong. On the other hand, if you like name brands or you don't mind spending the extra money, go for it. Because at the end of the day, I actually think the build quality is better. So for me, I would give the native five stars. They really are the superior build quality. They held up the best after a full summer of action. However, the Cat and Jack didn't degrade enough in the summertime to take them out of the ballpark. They're almost half the cost. So I would also give them five stars knowing that these aren't a pair of shoes that my kid is gonna wear for a few years. Old Navy, I I'm not really sure what to make of it. They seemed really similar to the Cat and Jacks, but for some reason, they didn't fit my son's foot. Maybe take your kids to a store, try them all, and see how they feel. If this helped you make a choice on which shoe to buy, do us a favor, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching, and don't forget, embrace the dad bod.